Okay, I'm going to hope to um, provide some insight on my process when creating a colorful portrait. So with this, I'm trying to, like the first step is always you need to get adequate line work. So I'm working off a reference photo of Leroy Sané. Um, I use Procreate and that's on iPad Pro. So I'll have like a photo. The reference photo will be in the Photos app, which will be open alongside Procreate on screen. So I draw by like eyeballing the photo, basically. Like I, I don't use any any other technique really, like except for basically squinting and giving myself a headache. Because you're always like, I know you're always trying to look and see is the eye at the right height. And you're looking at one thing, looking at the other photo. Uh, <laughs> it, it it can it can end up uh, nearly pulling a muscle above your eye. So this is like the some of the process that I use. I've, I'm trying to like unlearn it and um, stop squinting because all you have to do is turn your head and look at the photo. But you get so into the process, you you kind of like I'll be sitting down at the computer and it'll be one o'clock and I'll be drawn and drawn and I look up and it's like half two. And it feels like 10 minutes have gone by, but um, that's how immersive the process is. So I'm gonna put it back, put the video back now, hang on. So yeah, you wanna get your line work. That's the first step. You, you need adequate artwork to work with to then try and improve what you've made. So my whole thing lately is create art, but do things with the art. So I've been looking at like multimedia approach, collage, bringing in other elements, paper, uh, drawing other assets, bringing them in, adding them to the composition to see like, can you give it more depth, more interest, some narrative element that like hooks people longer, makes them smile when they look at it. Cause that's a big thing. You, you can make like the most accurate art possible, but the whole point is that someone finds it interesting and likes it. It just has to look cool and feel cool. That's the thing. It just has to like bring people in. So what is that X factor? So with this Sané piece, I had no great plan at the beginning. I just was going to follow my gut, which is usually, which is always the way that I'll arrive at the most interesting stuff. So I was looking at half tones. Uh, Basically it was right when I've got my artwork finished, when the color artwork portrait is done, then I duplicate it like seven times. And to each one of these layers that I've duplicated, I will add a filter or I'll alter that in some way. Then I've got like eight versions of the artwork. Then I can start chopping them up and laying them over it and picking like what element looks better in black and white with a blur, what element looks better in half tone, what element looks better this way or that way. So, this is the first color version, like really saturated version of this approach that I've done. For the last two months, I've been making collage pieces and I think they've kind of, that whole process has spilled into this. Now, I think the final piece at the end is a bit too busy, like, but there are some nice elements. Like I do like the larger half tone chopped out of the top of the head and the back of the head. Um, there's some nice depth, the lines, squiggly lines behind the portrait, thin uniform lines. I've added gradients to them and it gives them like just another layer of visual interest for someone looking at it. Um, so like I'm proud of that. I, I think it's nice because the blue in the background contrasts with the overall redness of the main artwork. And I think the likeness is actually pretty good, but on to the style of the piece, that's something that actually gets lost in it. And it's not really a factor, but um, no, I just, yeah, yeah. I just would, this one, I thought I'd share a bit of process because I, I think it's going somewhere interesting. Um, yeah. Another step along the way to making something good.